Welcome back. This week, former Madison cop and school, school board president Gloria Reyes announced her bid to run for Madison mayor in the spring election. While she never said her name, Reyes missed no words in calling out incumbent mayor Satya Rhodes Conway's leadership. In her announcement, she staked her platform on public safety. That's alongside her former boss, former Madison Police Chief Noble Ray. She walked the streets of Madison. She knows these kids. She knows what's going on in this community. Crisis is not an excuse for a lack of leadership. It is an opportunity to show up for the residents that elected you. I am concerned about our Madison today. Over the last four years, violent crime has risen. Countless times every day we get notification about police investigating gunshots in our neighborhoods. My name is Gloria Reyes and I'm running to be your next mayor. how to watch this upcoming race, I sat down with someone who's held the job three times and one of Madison's most familiar faces. Paul Soglin is next. Paul, thanks so much for joining me this morning. Sure Appreciate it. Uh, I got to get this question out of the way right off the bat. Are you running again? Not a chance. Why? I'm enjoying my, my retirement too okay. much right. and I'm working on a book which I have to finish. If I were a newcomer to Madison, what would you tell me about Madison mayoral politics? Well, we haven't had a serious conservative candidate since 1989. So if you're, you're, you're looking as to uh, who you might choose from, keep, keep that in mind. Uh, the second thing I'd, I'd say is that uh, things can change because despite the fact that the field has started as early as June or July during the summer, we've had a few elections where candidates didn't jump in until just a couple of weeks before the filing deadline uh, sometime in December. Rewind back to 1996, you had just announced your resignation from your second time as mayor. 1997, we saw, Madison saw an eight-way primary. Do you think we see anything like that again? That, that's interesting. We've had primaries with six, with eight candidates at times over the years. Um, usually no more than four of them are to be taken seriously. So you get a couple of candidates in there who simply want the experience, the fun of running for office, or maybe they're focused on one particular issue and they see an opportunity to show up for debates pre-primary and, and make their point. But uh, I, I don't think we're going to see more than three, perhaps four. Four is the most serious candidates we, we usually have. You have won a lot of elections. You've also lost a lot of elections. Uh, do you have any advice for people trying to throw their hat in the ring? I think the serious problems, the serious issues for any candidate are going to have to deal with the environment. They're going to have to deal with social and economic justice issues and they're going to have to deal with, with public safety. What do you think of Madison's current politics? Do you agree with the direction the city is going? Well, the electoral process, whether it's for the city office or for a national office, is, is a filtering process. And so you're likely, in effect, to get extremes uh, on, on, on certain hot topic issues. For example, uh, on the question of having public safety officers in the schools. Uh, if you look at the Madison City Council as being representative of the people of the city, you think no one in Madison, or virtually no one in Madison, would want a police presence in the schools. And that's simply not true. Um, so you, you've got to take that into consideration, whether you're judging a mayor or a member of the city council. How representative are they of, the, of the, the general public? And we know from the extremes we saw in the midterm elections, particularly among those attached to Donald Trump, nominations can go to people at the most extreme element of, of a cycle uh, since primary voters are likely to be more intense and uh, more adamant in their feelings. You served 22 years 
total in Madison between your three between your three runs. Do we ever see a Paul Soglin again? Do we ever see someone have that kind of tenure? Uh, I don't know. Um, Do you think we should? Is that good for city government? I think something's to be said for length of time in office in terms of institutional memory, in terms of understanding why we do things the way we do. You're not going to answer this question. Gloria Reyes is your former deputy mayor. Are you one of those asking her to run? Uh, my position uh, on who I'll support will be known at a later date. You're absolutely right. I'm not going to answer it at this time. Paul, it's always good to talk to you. I appreciate you sharing your thoughts ahead of uh, what is bound to be another exciting election in the spring. Yes, it is. And Edna really enjoys your being here. <laughs> Good to meet you, Edna.